Hi everybody, Cindy Utter here with my RC Endeavors, and for some reason I got the spur that I'm going to decorate the outside of our I Am book. Um, really not sure where I'm going to go with this. I'm just going to start playing and see what we do. I've got some paints here on my palette. Um, I've got some black and white. I have some pink. These are just cheap craft paints that I'm using. This one is a wild berry. I have a purple iris. I've gotten out some Laguna. I really like this. It's like a teal. Put a little bit more out there. I might need more of that. And I got myself some yellow. This one is a yellow lemon. So we're just going to play and we're going to start decorating this uh, just to have fun. I'm going to start out with my little silicone mat here. And the first thing I'm going to do is take, let's see, what color do we want to use? Let's start out with this Laguna. This is going to be decorated um, only with things that I've found around the house to reuse or to use in decoration. All right, so let's start. Let's see how it looks. I like it. This is going to be pretty random. I'm not really, I don't have any set pattern in mind. I am just going to play with some colors and play with some paint. So I have the bottom of an old flip-flop here. Um, I go to the dollar store and check out the uh, flip-flops and check out the bottoms of them. You never know what type of design they'll have on them. Some of them are really cool. Okay, I like that. Let's see. I've got some old cookie cutters here. I'm going to put this in our berry color. We're just going to put some cookie cutters on here. I hope the lighting is okay. Um, it's actually evening and I'm in front of a window here. So I'm hoping the lighting will be alright. Alright, let's get some of this purple. What are we going to do with the purple? Let's throw some purple lines on here. Oops, just got my paintbrush in the wrong color. So I'll just rinse it off real quick. Now this is an old stamp that I found, and actually I can see a lot of shadows right here. Let's see what I can do. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. Um, this is an old stamp I found at like one of the local thrifty stores. And I'd say you used to be able to put letters in there. Well, that's not how I use it. I like it for the lines. Okay, and I know I've got this portion here where I'm actually going to be putting some beads on um, the strings that are there, but I just want to add a little bit of the color into there. Let's see, I've got this. This was a piece of a tic-tac-toe game um, of my granddaughter's. So I'm actually going to go back in with this red or berry color. And just throw some pattern on here. I want to get into the book. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. I like these. This is just a piece of uh, cardboard that I had some sticky back foam, and I just cut out a sh few shapes and I stuck them onto here. So I want to go back in with the, let's do this, I want a blue, let's get a blue out here. Throw some blue on the palette and 
just going to paint these arrows blue. And I'm going to do the same thing with these. Like them. Pretty cool, huh? Alright, I'm going to dry this up really quick and then we'll just continue adding layers on it. Alright, so I've got this pretty well dry. Um, I'm going to continue with the colors that I have out. I think I'm going to go back in with my purple. And again, this is a silicone um, pot holder, uh, heat pad, whatever you want to call it, that you put on your table if you don't want your hot pot to mess up the table that you're sitting it on. Okay, and I'm just going on with a little light of the purple paint. Figuring out where I want to put it, where I want it to show up. Okay, now I can see I'm going to need some more yellow here in the middle, so I'm actually going to use, this is a top off of a dilution paint. So I'm just going to take the tops to get my yellow paint and put a few circles on here. It would look kind of funny if the whole book part was done except for the spine. That would look kind of strange. Here's my strings I was talking about when eventually I'll put beads and that sort of thing on. And I'm just going to continue to do this until my cover looks the way I want it. Right? There's no right, there's no wrong. It's just However, I decide I want it to look. Let's see what else we have here. Um, these are kind of cool. Again, these are uh, sticky back foam. And I'm just going to go in with the Lagoon. I like how this uh, <laughs> love it. And when you're doing this, sometimes you don't have to keep re-putting your paint on um, because sometimes the less paint, it just kind of gives you a ghost look and it's actually kind of cool looking. So let's put this one right here. Now what I'm doing, because we've already been working in the book and it's a little bit thick, um, if I don't think it's going to give me the print I want, I just put my hand up underneath and push down on it. Uh, to give it an even service to work on. like it. Love my dots. Let's see, we have another... Where's my... This is the wheel off um, string for a weed whacker. And what I'm going to do with this... Just trying to decide what color I want. I want to do something different. Let's get some more purple in here. Um, I'm going to take the purple and this is just a really cool pattern and we're going to put it right here my friend came the other day and she says hey I got a stamp for you and she handed me this she says it's off my weed whacker so it works right Let's put one right here. 
And okay. What else do we have? This um, I actually found in Tuesday morning, and this is just going to leave little dots, and it's actually kind of cool. So let's take the yellow, and again, I've messed up the other paintbrush. So, or, you know what, let's not do yellow, let's do black. Let's throw some black in here. And all I'm doing is just getting these little knobbies covered in black paint, so that when I roll it, it's going to leave a really cool pattern. Isn't that neat? I like it. Alright, and then I also have another one. I have a few of them here. And again, these I find on clearance. Um, this design, I like these pluses. Let's use these pluses. And again, I'm going to go in with black. And I hope this isn't picking up the music or I'm going to have to do a complete voiceover. There's black. 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 Alright, now another thing I want to do, I realize the canvas itself is white. Um, but what I would like to do is I'd like to have maybe some white splatters in here, that sort of thing. So I'm going to take a fan brush and I'm going to take my water sprayer and I'm just going to dilute down some of my white paint and actually it's got for some reason it's got purple in it I'm not quite sure why and I'm just going to use it to just flick some dots now you can't really see this but I can All right, now I'm having an issue with this right here because it doesn't have as much on it as I'd like. So I'm going to go back in with the dots, only this time I'm going to use a different color. I think I'm going to go in with the um, Lagoon color. I think that's what I used last time, right? I don't know. So let's go into this part of the book, the binding. or the spine of the book, whichever way you want to look at it. All right, now I still want, let's do some black. I've got um, a black paint here and a white paint here. These are Americana, and this is ebony black, and I've just got a pin in it because I put these real fine uh, tops on them. And what I want to do It's just these little groups of black dots. So I don't lose my pen. i put some on the spine. Let's see, I'm going to put a few over here. Maybe here. Couple here. All right, I am going to dry this up and then we'll take a look at it and see if I think I need to eat, add anything else to it or if I'm just going to let it dry as is, and that will be my quick and simple cover to the I Am book. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I think for this type of painting, I am going to leave it as is. Uh, once it completely dries, I will be taking it to my desk, and I will just be doing some doodles around the outside. Uh, most likely in black, maybe a different color, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but I want to give it some type of a border just to kind of bring the whole piece together. So as of right now, here is the cover for the I Am Journal. Hey everybody, Cindy Otto here. Okay, so the cover is completely dry. Um, and before I do the border and the outline on it and have to wait for it to dry again, I decided I wanted to do some beading on my ends here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to 
open the book up, lay it here. I've got out some random beads that I want to put on here. thought maybe I want to put this fringe on here. I don't know if it's going to work or not. So let's see what we've got. Now I've got a long string here. Three short strings I should have. There's another long one. There's another long one. And I've got these three short strings that are right here at the top. Now I think what I'm going to do, got three long, I'm going to tie these three together. Now I'm making this up as I go along, so um, if you're looking for a, a basic pattern or whatever, mm, no, it's in the head. Okay, so I've got these three strings, so those three are going to be decorated as one. And these I think are all going to be individually decorated. So. Let me open it back up again. And I have no idea why I got into wanting to do this, but I did. So let's see what we can do. I've got just a regular needle here that hopefully I will be able to thread onto this needle. And no, I don't use a needle threader, I just do it by hand. Just like that. And let's start. I've got a whole bunch of beads out here, just randomness basically. Um, and I'm just going to play. Just going to play. I can find the hole on the bead that is. Now see that bead doesn't want to go through there so I know I can't use those. Those are too small. Let's try this one. This one will work. And basically I'm just um, going to start beading this a little bit. Don't mind my phone. Oops, a short one. And some of these on, why not? You see, some of them don't like to go through the uh, the hole, the, I'm sorry, the thickness of the string. And basically, I'm just going to bead this and have fun with it. I mean, nothing um, planned. going to see how it looks. Right? I love these clear beads. They came in some kit. It was supposed to be uh, make a um, snowflake. But yeah, no. I don't have patience for that. So I didn't make snowflakes. I just decided I'm going to use the beads. Today I'm kind of, I'm grounded home, which that's okay, I need to stay home anyway, because they're actually paving the road out in front of our house, which is fantastic. It has needed it very badly. Um, so they're paving my side of the road today. Yesterday it was the other side of the road. Come on. Nope. See, see what happens when you try to push a glass bead through a needle that doesn't work? They break. Let's try to find another one that maybe will work. Nope. Come on. Nope. Like I said, this is all just trial and error. Now, for some reason, a couple of them would work, and now this one won't. So, I'm going to go back to the green one. Why not? Okay, I've got a couple of these. Let me put a couple clear on here. And I really like these beads. Aren't they pretty? I don't know if you can see it. Hang on. Isn't that bead pretty? I used to make my own beads. Um, I did that when I was doing the stained glass. I also did lamp work beads. And it was a lot of fun. 
a lot of fun. I still have all my bead making equipment downstairs. I don't know if I'll ever get back into that again or not, but I haven't quite had the heart to get rid of it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do these really long because I want to have some string at the end to be able to work with to put whatever I want on the end of it. So let's see, we've got those. That looks pretty cool. Now I want, this is just a star button that I'm going to put on here. Pretty, huh? See, these have the little stars in them. That was part of the um, snowflake deal. But like I said, I don't, I don't have the patience for that. So, oh, I love that little star there. Okay, now how <clears throat> how I'm actually going to tie this off is I'm going to go back through the button, and then I'm going to go back through a couple more beads which I've put on the bottom. And I'm just gonna tighten it up. And it's okay if it's not perfect, right? We're not perfect. Now I'm gonna go back through this bead again and I'm gonna knot it. And one more time. Ugh. And knot it. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, got this all on here, which is good. I want a small bead on the very end of this. I don't know if I'm going to get one of these to fit. Nope, it's not going to work over the head of the pin, the head of the needle, I should say. Oh, it does. I'm going to do the same thing. just going to cut the needle off. Now what I may do is I may go ahead and put a little bit of glue between these two, which is okay. And another thing I might, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I may put something else on here. I'm not really sure. Or I just may leave it. But I will definitely put some glue on the ends of that. So there's the first one. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do that to two more. I'll fast forward through it. And uh, I'll see you when we get done.
Okay, so my last one didn't turn out exactly like I planned, which is okay. I'm not worried about it. It's kind of got this doodab here on the bottom. That's okay. I put a little of the Aliens glue on it to uh, keep it there. No worries. This one's got a little bit of a tag off the end. I'm going to cut that. Same with this one. Okay, so it, it will actually hold. So now, here we go. Here's my three strings of beads, which is cool. Now what I need to do is I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this top one. Um, and I still have a couple of these bigger beads here, and I think it's just going to be a very... Um, let's see if we can do this by hand. Let's see. Let's see if we can... I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this by hand. Probably not. No. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Hmm. Let me think about it, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so what I ended up doing, it was trial and error and a few words here and there, but what I ended up doing is taking those three short strings at the top, and I tied this little bird. Let me bring you in so you can see. Whoops, wrong way. I tied this little bird to those three strings and then I glued it. So now what I have for my backing is this, okay, for those strings that were hanging down. All right, they have a couple sparkly stars on them, some really cool beads that I liked, and that's going to work out just fine. So now what I'm going to do, oops, stop sending you guys seasick. Now I'm going to put all the way the put away all of the bead stuffs and then I'm going to finish working on the cover. I want to do a black edge on it and I want to put I am on the front. So that's next and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work on putting the um, closure on the book. I've got this big teal button here that I want to use and I went ahead. Let me bring you guys down. Uh, I went ahead and I just put black dots there so I know where I want it to be. And I'm just using, I call this binding. It's actually um, American Craft Premium Ribbon is what it says. But I use this for all of my binding. It's like a string. So I'm just going to take off a nice hunk of this. No biggie. No measuring. None of that crap. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start poking holes. First thing I want to do is I'm going to leave quite a tail out here. I'm going to bring it up through the first hole. Like I said, I'm going to leave quite a big tail because I want to be able to work with it. Take my button, put my button on, and then I am just going to do kind of like the cross stitch style of this, okay? Going up and down the opposite corners. Now I don't want this really tight, so I am going to leave it a little bit loose, which is okay. Because what I'm going to put on it, I want to be able to wind around the button. Okay, and I'm going to do that a couple more times, and then just tie it off. I am not a sewer. I have never claimed to be. I don't ever claim to be. I don't ever want to be. Um, I have taken a couple classes to learn how to use my sewing machine. Well. It works, just not crazy. Okay, now see, all I'm doing is I just did that twice, and that's okay. The button's there, it's not going to go anywhere, and it's still loose enough so I can put stuff underneath it. So what I'm going to do here is just tie this off, and I know I have way too much string, but that's okay. I'm just going to tie this in a knot. And 
I'm going to do it again. Okay. Now I am not going to leave a whole lot. I'm going to leave, hmm, I might decide to do something more with that. So I'm going to leave a little bit. Okay. For now, that's where it needs to be. Now what I'm going to do is I have, this is called um, fabric ribbon. And what it is, is I actually got it in a, th a local thrift store. And it's just a bunch of fabric that people have cut up into strings. So I threw these three strings together. Now what I want to do is I actually want it to be able to curl around the button twice where I've got this knot. Or maybe just once. And I want it to hang right there. So let's bring it around. See how much I actually have to have. I'm going to make it a little bit more. And then what I'll do, think about how I'm going to do this, Cindy. I should have done this underneath the button. But you know what? That's okay. I don't have to. Let me think. Okay, so I figured it out. Here's what I did. And like I said, I'm not, I don't sew. That's just not my thing. And it's cool. What I did is I actually used a hole punch, which is a small hole punch. Um, that's the size of the hole. Can you see it? A little tiny hole punch. Anyways, I used that. I poked three holes in the canvas underneath the button. And then I took the fabric and I put it through, brought it back to the back side and I tied it and then I used the blue string to tie it off a little bit so it's attached it's not going anywhere so now what I can do let's just get the scraps out of the way this little piece I'm gonna have to work on I think I'm gonna put some glue back there to hold a lot of that down I mean it's a little bit bumpy Ah, eh, that's alright it's my I am journal and all I have to do is bring it around and I can still just loop it through Okay, and there's my closure. This, um, well, first of all, we're going to cut it off because I don't want it that long. Okay, I love it. It's just like a little handmade enclosure. I love it. So, that part's done. God, I hate sewing. <laughs> all right, now on to finishing the cover. Now, the, the reason I wanted to put this on is because I wanted to know where... Um, See, this is another thing. I can go around the other way, too. I can actually go around this way. Either way. Okay. Um, what I, the reason I put this on right now is because I wanted to know where um, I was going to put my I am on the front of the cover. Now, I also have this mask here, and this is either a Dina Wakely or a Dilutions. I'm not sure which because I don't keep packaging, and that's probably my fault. But I am going to put this right here, and you know what? She's going to be done in black. And then I'm going to have an I am here. That's the thoughts. So let me get out. I'm going to be using probably my black gesso with this. Um, let me get that out. And then we'll finish up the cover and we'll have our cover done for our I am journal. So I'll be right back with you. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my mask here and I'm going to draw around it. Yes, I probably could have taken the other part of this the actual stencil and just gessoed it but that would that would be um too easy <laughs> i like to do things the hard way so all i'm doing is i'm just going around this figure with a pilot pen okay and then I'm going to take my black gesso and I'm just going to paint this figure in. All right, so here's my black gesso. Um, get my paint tray here. And then I'm just going to throw some black gesso on my paint tray. And 
you can see her right here. I'm just going to black gesso her in. Uh, for some reason, I have stuff all over this desk again. I'm not sure what the deal is, but I can never keep it clean. So I'm just making her a figure standing here. Um, she's not going to have any features, any of that stuff. She's just going to be a figure. And she is. I am. Right? Could I have, uh, you know, done her all up and gave her a face and yada, yada, yada? Yeah, probably, but that's not what I was in the mood to do today. So she is just going to be standing here. There she is. I like her. All right, now like I said, I want to do some type of a border on this. Um, now I know some of this is not going to be seen, but that's okay. And really, all I'm looking to do is just... put a border up here. Just want something simple. Just throwing some doot 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 down. Okay, bring it back out. Oops, I'm sorry, I always do that. So, there you go. She's just going to have a do dot border. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the journal around. I'm going to put this back in here. And I'm going to take my beads and just lay them toward the middle. And then I'm just going to continue with my black gesso. Oops. I lost my gesso. Now, if I wanted to get real fancy, I could come in here with another color and do some more doodads and, you know, doodles, and hmm, that's not what I'm in the mood for. So we're just putting a border on here. Not all exactly the same. That's okay. They don't have to be, right? Fill them in. A little bit of a corner on here. I'll 
take my yarn, put it in the middle, yarn, cloth, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now I'm going to let this dry and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so this is all dry. It's closed up. Now what I'm going to do is, I got thinking about it, and I don't really like the fact that it goes across the face, so you know what? I can do this. I'm just going to take it. Oh, maybe it's not quite all dry. Um, I can take it right up top, come around, and then because I've put this little knot here, I can just hook this over the button. And there we go. There is the cover of the I Am journal and you know I thought about putting I Am on it but I don't want to I like it just the way it is so I hope you enjoyed this week uh, decorating our cover and as always be kind have fun that's what life's all about and until next time happy creating bye